Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you all here as usual. Uh, as you can see here, we're just, you know, down at the bottom of the ocean, just kind of following the terrain. I just thought I would see how far down I could go here with Grundlebot. You know, maybe there's something going on down here. Maybe there could be some Easter eggs planted somewhere on the planet. Probably highly, highly unlikely. Anyways, here's what I wanted to do in this episode. It's kind of what I wanted to do in the last episode. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, look at this. So, if you recall the White Flares, remember we had some resource ships set up that were suckling on the enemy's resource zones while there was still an enemy there blockading us. That was here and here. It looks like this White Flares fleet, that uh, White Flares fleet, for some reason that sounds really strange. Anyways, for some reason that fleet that defeated us is now moving up to our other resource zone. We're going to have to probably take care of that. That could be fun, you know, having like another White Flares battle. So anyways, what I wanted to do in last episode, which uh, we had some difficulty with because of the updates, uh, mainly because I wasn't sure what I was doing with the new GUI and whatnot, uh, we're going to bring over some of our other ships here, and we're going to just try to fight them against the Scarlet Dawn. Just see how we fare. Uh, we're probably going to get decimated, but I don't know. I thought this could be kind of fun. So we're going to bring over these fleets. The last Bastion, we have a Snooger Copter MK2 and two Orionicas. Orionicas. I, I just... Why do I always fail at trying to say the name of this? I, I don't know. Uh, yes, so we've got that fleet. We have the Tippity Tappity Snoog fleet with quite a few ships. Two Black Tip Reef Sharks, two Eagle Eyes, two Submarines. I don't remember much about these, to be honest. It's been a while. Now, uh, we do have the Jellyfish Mega Sub Silos, which is good. You know what? These have heels. This is what I couldn't figure out last time. And I, I am recording these episodes back to back. So if I start repairs on a Jellyfish... Finish. We're in repair mode. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to look up what this means. Like, I imagine maybe I'm repairing right now. Let's just 10 exit. Mm, no. I mean, you would think that'd be going up to like 99. I mean, uh, 100. Now, I don't know. These may not have repair bots either. Not quite sure there. And of course, we're also bringing up the grandiose nautical stuff fleet uh, <laughs> with the jellyfish subs and the contentious cruiser. So, yeah, we'll let these guys move on over here. These are kind of slow. Let's see what speeds we're looking at. 7.4 meters a second and 8.6. So it'll take a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we will catch y'all in just, just a moment here. Flip back and uh, get this battle started. Okay. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, right as my ships got there, we immediately entered battle, but it wasn't for what I thought. Remember that White Flares uh, fleet that was moving up towards our resource zone? Well, they've arrived. Yeah, they've totally arrived. There is a bunch of them. My goodness. Holy smokes. Oh man, we're gonna lose a sea skip and suckler. Well let's do it. Maybe it's maybe it's the one that I put tons of cannons on. Maybe. Um Hmm, I'm not quite sure what's what's happening right now. I, I can't I can't do anything. Oh no, I think the game might have crashed. No, hang on, battle begins. Oh, I bet they're getting to bring in their whole fleet. I bet that's what's happening. Because I am getting, wow, what's going on? Look at this lag, this is crazy. This is, this is intense. Oh, on, on a good note, we've got 820k metal. Okay, here we go, now I can select stuff. All right, well, things were just loading in, that's what, oh yeah, look. Oh my goodness, look over here. <laughs> oh my god, hurry. Hop out of the sea skip and suckler, Grundlebot. Go hide yourself. Get safe, my friend. Keep him very secret. Keep him very safe. Just tuck him into an envelope. You know, put him in an uh, old Bilbo bag in his treasure chest of storage or whatever. Just, you know, just getting a screenshot there. Oh, look, it's an old time favorite of the White Flares. The Buzzsaw. Couldn't remember the name, but I know we fought this multiple times. Wow, we're really holding up, aren't we? Look at us. We're doing great right now. Take a look at the old suckler. Stay strong, my friend. Come on, keep on. Get all the resources you can before they take us out. Families depend on this. We need every little bit. Oh, look, the AI's dead on one of their own ships. Hang on, let's go scope it out. Here's the Valkyrie, I think. I think. Yeah, baby, got that right. That's the Valkyrie covered in rams. You would not want to get too close to that thing. Yeah, I wonder what died over here. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even know what it is, but it's gone. 
Alright, yeah, we're taking some mega damage. I don't think we're gonna last very long. There we go, battle finished. There's the scraps of the old Sea Skippin' Suckler. It's been real, my friend. You got a lot of resources for us. You will never be forgotten. Let's uh, have a moment of silence, please, for the Sea Skippin' Suckler. Okay, that was that was long enough. Alright, let's get back here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Mm, let's see, how do I go ahead and get rid of this again? Oh, yes. Just go ahead and permanently get rid of them. I don't want... I'm not worried about bringing them back, you know? Okay, here is what I thought we were... We had a battle going on with. I think everybody's close. Yeah, so I think I, I go to battle mode. I'm, I'm just winging it here. All right, okay, we've prepared for battle. Here's all of our ships, so we can set the order. I'm guessing this is the priority of what ships come in when. This is pretty cool. Hmm. I like when you... Uh, interesting. Like the rolling green... All right, well, let me just look around here. Oh, neat, look at this. You can see all of your ships. Cool. I I'm rather digging this. This is a nice update. And then you can just keep on zooming in if you want. Just zoom straight down to the terrain. How cool is that? All right. So let's take a look at the order of what's going to be going on here. Um, let's bring a jellyfish sub. So we'll have a, a... This is really cool. I wonder... And then I want one of these guys. Can I just, like, drag him? Oh, no, not really. Okay, hang on. This is kind of weird. Let's get the jellyfish sub up towards the top. I've already done that. Where'd the Orion... You can, here it is. I want this. Oh, I, I see what's going on here. I'm sorry. Just, like, the uh, the size of these is goofy for me. Let's bring an eagle eye up here. Let's bring a submarine. I'm, I'm going to mix it up. And let's bring the contentious cruiser up to here. All right. I'm, I'm thinking this is the order of things spawning in. So when I hit begin battle, I think it'll start bringing stuff in. It's going to be pretty even. We're going to get 13,000 blocks, and the Scarlet Dawn's going to get 11,000. Well, 12K. So 13K and 12K. Very even. All right, here we go. Uh, let me see here. Can I go ahead... I was going to see if I could go ahead and spawn down there, but it looks like I have to begin the battle first. All right, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, and then we wait for some things to spawn. I'm thinking the blue ones. Oh, look. the I think as it turns blue, that is what it's spawning in. Oh, way cool. That's what that was. All right, this is neat. Dig them, dig them. Uh, I just need to get down there, please. Here we go. Let's get the interface on real quick here. Get off the weapon systems. And let's uh, see how this battle unfolds, ladies and gents. I'm expecting some huge losses here. So, what did we bring in? Uh, we, we brought an eagle eye? I th no, no, no. This is in Orionica. Okay, cool. We got an airship. It's got some smoke. All right. Hey, that is unexpected. We have here, I think this is a black tip reef shark. Yes, sir. -y. Cool. I forgot about these. I forgot about these ships. This is, this is really neat. All right, well, we just have a plethora of Scarlet Dawn ships that have gotten spawned in as well. My, my goodness. Let's see. Do we have a jellyfish sub down here? We do. Now, remember, the jellyfish subs, they they shoot EMP warheads, I believe, is what I switched them, back, uh, switched them to quite a while back. So, I don't know if they will land, if they will be effective. What do we have here? Oh, this is one of our eagle eyes. Look at this. Oh, he's about to take a hammer in. Oh, he is going to take a hammer in. Incoming missiles. I don't think he has any lambs. He has no missile protection. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what are we fighting down there? Interesting. Oh, we're lagging. Okay, no, we're okay. We're okay. We recovered. It was almost a uh, bad situation there, but we're good. All right, one of our eagle eyes taking a major beating. So we can kind of see the battlefield here. Take a look at our health. Uh, one of the eagle eyes has been hit. Everybody else is doing a okay. Oh, just joking. Oh my goodness, what's this button? This force is suppressed by enemy fire and cannot be withdrawn. Oh, okay. Focus on this force. Oh, neat. That is so much easier to focus on when you do that. Oh wait, that didn't do what I thought it did. <laughs> I'm kind of down under the water. I was thinking that would focus on it. Look at all the insanity that's going on right now. Oh, look at this. We're actually landing some hits. Holy smokes. So we started off against 10 Scarlet Dawn. Look what we've done here. Magnificent. The old meteor. We've taken off, what, like 800 blocks maybe? 
Oh no, yeah, the Orionica right here. It's going down. Remember, this is an airship. It needed that top prop to keep it up. You can still see a shadow over the ship for where the uh, the propeller system used to be. No longer there, of course. Yeah, it's gone, you know. Seen better days. All right, we got the Orionica down in the water. Got the black tip reef shark launching quite an array of missiles. Maybe going after this little uh, meteor or meteorite, whatever you call these. No, wait, this is a... This is a... Take off the binox. This is really hard to do without an interface on. Apologies there, accidentally tabbed out. <laughs> Tab trying to use the weird Q menu. All right, here's one of our other ships, the old Eagle Eye. Oh no, the Eagle Eye's going down. We've still got that great antenna array on the top, so I mean, you know, we got that going for us. We gotta think positive in a situation like this. All right, now what is this Scarlet Dawn ship? Have we seen this one? The Wyvern, oh, okay. Pretty cool looking ship. Look at all the missiles everywhere. Let's take a look at our health. We are taking some hits. Our jellyfish sub is great. Wow, you know, I'm really surprised that like the black tip reef shark's so so well off right now. Orionica not doing so hot. Let's see. I think I can can I move the camera around in this view? Oh, I sure can. Look at this. This is very cool. Okay, let's just go over here a bit. Maybe zoom out a little bit more. Trying to see where everybody is. It's it's just a little hard to see the battle. It would be cool if like you could have nameplates on everybody with my health bars at, in this view. This would be a very cool tactical view to just be scoping stuff out in. Alright, so who is our most hurt ship here? Okay, the Orionica and the Eagle Eye. Both taking some hits. I honestly am very surprised. I mean, look at this. I, we're, we're shattering some of these Scarlet Dawn ships. Uh, Heartstone charges less than 50%. Provide engine power quickly. So one of these ships must have a Heartstone, and it must be out of engine power. Could be the Orionica or the Eagle Eye. It could be one of those. Beautiful. Look at this. Two damaged. That's one Scarlet Dawn ship down. Well, let's see. Have we taken any other ones out? Oh, no. What is this? Oh, propellers. I bet those came off the Orionica. Uh, here we, here it is. Down here, actually. Under the sea. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? Ah, I lost about 1,600 blocks. Oh my gosh, though, but he's still able to shoot his AP rounds. Which, once again, thank you, everybody, who reminded me what all the different colors are. Always very helpful. Yeah, he's taking shots over here at this guy. At the Wyvern. And he's hitting too, look at that. Well, color me impressed. Whatever color that is, color me. Do it, douse me in that paint. Cause I am very much so at that state right now. Ooh, so now this right here, this should be up in the orbit. It's such a bummer when it's not. You can see the huge cannon on the bottom. What are you, my friend? Oh yeah, this is the bang set. <laughs> Bang, bang! Wicked, wicked wild! Me and Claude Frog and Selma Hayek! Wicked, wicked, wicked wild! Well, the battle's panning out interestingly so far. I mean, I'm just really impressed. I mean, here we have Submarine. Oh, Submarine's getting hit. Submarine is taking a hit. Submarine's launching some missiles. I love that. Under the water. Let's get the interface off. Get a cool view here. Maybe get a good screenshot. Oh, I just, I dang it, I just missed the missiles shooting out. I want to try to get one with the missiles. Hang on, we'll try again. We'll center it. I see something else that's too damaged. There are the missiles. Got it. Nailed it. All right, let's see what else is too damaged. This could be, oh no, I, that could be us. Let's take a look. Eagle Eye at 30%. Oh yeah, oh look, Eagle Eye just disappeared. Okay, we've lost one ship so far. Now look how cool this is. Our contentious cruiser is up next in the queue to bring in. And if you look over here on the left, you can actually see we will be able to bring this in once we free up 3,500 more blocks. Either by defeating that on the enemy side or having our own ships die that, you know, consist of that many blocks. That's, that's when we will free it up. I am really digging this. I'm really digging this new update. Great chance. Wow. 
Looks like the Mega Sub Silo McSnugenheimer just missed. That very ungracefully. Here we go, the Black Tip Reef Shark firing off a mighty, mighty bit of missiles here. I don't believe we're going to be able to hit this. this. This should be the shooting star. If my calculations are correct, I, I've calculated the third moon fate. Darn it, it's the Gemini. Dag nabbit. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, happen. Please don't run out of fuel. Get there. You hit him. Yes. We took off part of his wing. And here comes some of the missiles from the jellyfish. Meg Mega sub. S Snooger. Snoogheimer. I just don't remember the name. Something about jelly jellyfish sub. In inside of a silo. It's funny that our missiles are going for the wings. I'm finding that very funny. Oh, but they are EMPs. Let's see if these EMPs can travel far enough along the wings. Although, if I remember correctly, wood is like the least susceptible thing to carry the EMP pulse, I believe. Not really, not really EMP when we're talking about it like that, but... Come on, baby, turn. Get these missiles in there. It is very cool looking, but now they all ran out of fuel. Okay. Look at this, another another ship is too damaged, so we've taken the Wyvern out. I am starting to get very impressed with our fleets here. So check this out. I went ahead and put my character in the Orionica to help, you know, get the repairs going. Look at the uh, one of the outside propellers here. Let's slow it down. Let's slow down time. Just a moment here. Mm, if I can. Here we go. Slowing it, slowing it. Look at how... How oddly this is rebuilding. Oh, we're lagging. Okay, something else must have spawned in. But yeah, look at this. The outside of one of the props is loading in before the inner attachments are there to keep it afloat. You know, keep it attached. Structurally sound, I believe, as architects like to say. All right, we'll speed it back up here. And let's let's go take a look. What has spawned in? Something definitely did. I mean, you know, my gut instinct is telling me something definitely did. And my guts are generally you know, inside my body, for the most part. That's generally where I like to keep them. Okay, so we had a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on me again, for the second time. And the third time is, but you know, usually when I forget that I've been fooled once or twice. So, you know, just rinse, repeat. It's like a never-ending cycle. Oh yeah, so the uh, Jellyfish Sub and the Black Tip Reef Shark are just unloading on the Gemini. My god, this is incredible. Are you kidding me? There's, there's, let's see, I'm seeing one, two, oh gosh, that big Death Star thing just spawned in. What is that again? Oh my goodness, the Calamity. What a cool ship. What a cool ship. We are up to 839,000 metal. This is great because we will have enough to bring in another community ship in the next episode. I'm also curious to see what you guys think about using some of our older ships that certainly, you know, I thought wouldn't be suited to fight the Scarlet Dawn. Uh, and, and then sending them on. Oh, look at this. The, the jellyfish is directly under the Calamity. We are firing EMP. Let's see if these EMP uh, missiles can do anything. This is a lot of metal. Like, maybe we can take some engines out. How phenomenal would that be? Look. Yeah, you can see the EMP bolts traveling uh, along the inside of this. Okay, wow, I thought that AI dead was on the Calamity here. It's not. Look at all these lasers. So it looks like it's having some problems. Is it falling out of the air? Oh my goodness, it's falling out of the air. Wow. EMP for the win. We have missiles coming up at it now. There are no lambs. Look, all... Well, I was going to say a bunch of its lasers are disabled. They are no longer firing. How incredible is this? This is cool. Okay. Wow, ah, man, this was unexpectedly cool. Dingleberries! Let's go ahead and get down a little bit here. Get down, get down. And all that jazz tonight, yeah. Doodly, 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 doodly. Missiles coming up on the Calamity. We've still got the EMPs, so the jellyfish is just going to keep firing those out, right? Going to keep them coming. Which should keep the calamity in a perpetual state of no longer being able to fly look how incredible that is we took the engines out with EMPs and we've only taken off barely a hundred blocks that to me is just phenomenally incredible and so now we have if you notice here the 
Think, think, Scrote. Think hard. The Orionica firing its uh, AP shells. I mean, its HE shells. Ah, oh, I remember it. I'm just so happy right now. I'm just so ecstatic. Look at this. AI is already dead in this ship. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get my interface back on today. I do, 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 do. Only way I can think to do this is to uh, do this real quick. Okay. Control. Chair. Pop a chair on the top. Go, Scrope. Quick. Quick, matey. Pop my dude on there. Become a dude. Okay, now we're going to fly up here. I want to try to get close enough to the Calamity as it's disintegrating. Go, Grundlebot, please. And maybe we can capture it. And maybe we can get the resources. Because if you notice, we barely... We barely hurt this thing. We only took off maybe like 2 or 3%. Oh, yeah, come on. Get over there, Grundles. We have such a good chance right now. No, it's already melting. No. Urgh, I think it's falling backwards. I don't, wow, I don't know what that weird chewy noise was I just made there. Oh, I can't do it twice. Come on. Man, I should have thought of this earlier. I should have had my guy over here waiting. I really... You know what I need to build is like a little 30 or 40 block thing that I can fly that maybe could go maybe 20 or 30 meters a second and could be controlled by me just for some quick, you know, maneuvering. Almost like a, a little personal hover bike, if you will. Or, or for those of you who've seen Back to the Future, oh my god, we're, we're like right up next to it. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me, please. I think we might be getting it. Look at our resources going up. I don't know. Oh yeah, hang on. Let's look. We got it at 45%. All right, let's watch our resources. We were at right around 850. Ow, let me get off this. If it explodes when you're on it, you go down with the ship, my friends. Just keep that in mind. And we, you know, we don't need to worry about that because we're really not the captain of this ship. Yes. Oh, that was close. We are up to uh, a million metal now. We've gotten around 150,000. Oh, this is just phenomenal. Yes. Oh, I love it. I'm loving it. So glad we put a chair on the outside of the submarine. Totally makes sense. All right, so we're going to end up right around 1.1 million, which means, you know, what, 300, uh, yeah, 300K or so. All right. We're lagging extremely bad now. It must be the last ship loading in. I think it is. It totally is. Oh, ooh. Okay, hang on. We gotta, we gotta duck, dip, dive, and dodge around these missiles. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, the AI's already dead on it. What? We already did it? What? Y'all, this is incredible. Our fleets. I mean, we've taken some damage. You, you know, let's let's be honest. Oh, the contentious cruiser got to come in. All right, let me go look where it's at. Cause love is, is where it's at, said remember that. Look at that, the contentious cruiser came to save the day with those lasers. Oh lord, the game is lagging. It's playing the same, oh no, this isn't good. Yeah, we're lagging super hard. Uh, it's playing the same sound effect. This could be the end of this episode, my friends. Let's wait and find out. Okay, if that's the case, then... I wonder if this is related to the contentious cruiser. I mean, if we take a look at the what's going on on the screen here, we have an explosion happening. Hmm, the contentious cruiser is looking sexy though. That's always a thing to think about. Hmm, let's see, laggy contentious cruiser. Uh, yeah, that's, well, it looks like we have a crash situation here. Oh, yep, okay, there it goes. Well, unfortunately, this is a weird place to uh, have this end. Uh, give me just a moment here. Well, we are back. I sincerely apologize that, about that. That's very frustrating. You know, we crashed. I It could have been related to the contentious cruiser. I probably won't bring that back in. But wow, that thing just jumped out of the water. You know, just on the off chance that that is what caused it. Uh, unfortunate, which means none of the progress was saved from that battle. But I'll go back through and defeat the square. And, uh, you know... Let me know if you guys like doing that. You know, every now and then we could bring in some of our older ships, give them some more camera time, and see how they fare against some of these much more difficult factions. I, I'm, I mean, I'm just throwing this out there. I was very impressed with those older ships against the Scarlet Dawn. I was not expecting. I really think we were going to win that one. I really, really do. Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will stop this episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It's been great having you here as usual. If you did enjoy the episode, you know, give it the old thumbs up. Keep those coming. Definitely lets me know that there's still continued interest in the series. 
Uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. So I hope you all have an absolutely great one. Take it easy and stay classy.